Storm Tracker 7 weather is presented by Panhandle Cleaning and Restoration. Good Thursday evening to you, Storm Tracker 7 Chief Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. We had another really nice day out there. It was a little chilly, a little cooler than it has been the past couple of days. Having said that, though, part of that also, well, the temperatures weren't quite as warm. Also, we had a little bit more of a breeze and that wind coming out of the north that drags in some of that cooler air. Right now it is 60 degrees. You can see in the camera right there exactly what that icon is showing. Lots of sunshine and it looks like as we head through the evening hours, we're going to have clear skies out there with temperatures falling to about 58 by 7, 50 by 9 down into the mid 40s under clear skies by 11 o'clock and those winds should be backing off a little bit as well. You can see on our satellite and radar imagery, not a whole lot to speak of. We have been dealing with lots of sunshine throughout the day, lots of sun shine across the region throughout the day. Really nice out there. Hopefully you had a chance to enjoy some of the weather, but with the clear skies, with the calmer winds, well, and even the colder air, we're going to set ourselves up for chilly conditions out there. Frost advisories in effect throughout the viewing area, and it does look like we have freeze watches in effect in parts of Pennsylvania, also parts of eastern West Virginia. So going to be dealing with the threat for some very cold weather out there, and it's not uncommon. We should have seen our first frost in some areas in the viewing area already. Uh, October 10th, that's today, to the 20th. That's typically when our western counties see their first frost, so nothing out of the ordinary with that. Having said that, though, we are going to be dealing with sensitive plants that are going to be in danger tonight. Basically, you want to bring in your sensitive plants. If you can't bring them inside, you can always cover them with a light cloth or a sheet. You don't want to use any sort of plastic. Just keep in mind, if you want to extend the growing season, that's the best way to do it. But also keep in mind that typically we start seeing more and more frost, so this is kind of a foregone conclusion. But also, we have the potential to see the northern lights out there. There was a strong solar flare that came through here. We're expecting a G4 mag, uh, geomagnetic storm, which basically is a severe storm that can bring the northern lights. This is never a given because predicting space weather is tough, but really right now through about 2 a.m. is when this is expected to peak. And here's kind of the horizon line where you might be able to see them on the horizon. In our area, there is the possibility you could see them. You want to get far away from the city lights, get into a dark spot. You want to look up uh, to the north and you might get lucky and see them again. It's not a given, but if you can get it far enough out of the city, you might get lucky and see them. Our pollen levels, Ragweed's going to come up just a little bit over the next couple of days as our temperature warms up into the 70s tomorrow and Saturday. Storm Tracker 7 predictor though, clear skies. Again, if you're out and about far away from the city, look up tonight. You might get lucky and see the northern lights. We'll start off tomorrow chilly in the mid 30s in town, but low 30s in outlying areas. And we have lots of sunshine through the day tomorrow, and that will last on into the evening hours, those clear skies. So if you're headed off to the football games, looking pretty good. Dropping down to 36 in town tonight, 71 for a high tomorrow. I'd take an extra jacket, an extra layer if you're going to go to the games tomorrow night. Looking like we'll have a couple more clouds on Saturday, but back into 72 degrees. And then we're up to 72 on Sunday with a chance for some rain off and on through the day. Then on Columbus Day, a few spotty showers linger and we are going to turn much cooler after that. We're going to see uh, temperatures that are going to be in the mid and upper 50s Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, back in the 60s by Thursday.